tear gas was being fired. I had a lot of colleagues going back and I found myself, instead of running away from it, I was running towards where the chaos was at. So interesting, what do I eat before I cover protests? It's interesting, but I don't eat anything when I go to cover protests. I more often than not, I won't say more often than not, every time I go out to cover protests, it's on an empty stomach. Wow, very dangerous! But I just take water and then I'm good to go, yeah. I don't know, I just like to feel light. I don't know if that makes me think properly, but... Um, I like to feel light and it helps me be able to move and do a lot of things. Not, I feel food is heavy on me when I, when I eat it. So yeah, I just like to feel light. How do I ensure my safety while on a protest? Um, I've always said it, you have to be properly identified as a journalist. It makes it really easy in terms of safeguarding yourself when you're out there covering protests. So I'm sure for every time I might have been seen covering a protest, if I'm not being forced to wear a helmet with press on it, I am fully identified as a media person. Um, it's helped. I've, I've been at protests where people have been beaten, colleague journalists were beaten, but because I could be identified easily from even 100 meters away that I'm a journalist, I, I always almost escape without being touched. So yeah, identify yourself properly and then you're good to go. Um, the most challenging, um, I won't, I won't have most challenging. I'm not trying to say that it's all easy, but I mean, the mentality is just to go out and work. And so I don't really like to see anything as a challenge, but um, most memorable, I think will be the last two protests. I say last two uh, in the sense that uh, Arise Ghana last year and then in 2017 when Kokwa Nyudoho was arrested there was a mammoth crowd at the police headquarters. That's where a lot of my colleagues were beaten. I mean the the, the speed with which everything went fast. That's when I discovered that I could do some of these things, be able to describe things whilst they're happening so fast. And so that memory always sticks with me because I remember running after police officers who were chasing people or beating people, motorbikes being smashed. And I found myself, instead of running away from it, I was running towards where the chaos was at. And it was same at Arise Ghana as well. When the tear gas was being fired, I had a lot of colleagues going back, but for some strange reason, my legs were taking me forward. And so, yeah, those would be my most memorable. Um, strategy to obtain objectivity um, has always been to be able to read well and read wide and have a, a grasp of all of the issues because people will bandy a lot of things about and you just have to know what it is that you're out for. Once you're well read, you've covered as much subject area as possible. Uh, you can be able to tease out the issues and so even when somebody is trying to uh, go down a path that is not it's not factual because at least you have a good enough knowledge about it you can be able to bring the person back on board some people are a bit overly emotional as well sometimes you need to tell a bit of the emotions as well but you just try to find a good balance from it being overly emotional. So some of the people, when I want to speak to them, I tell them, you can say all the things you want to say, but don't insult anybody because I will not allow you to insult anybody. And so those are just some of a few things. Get good grasp of the subject area to which you're going out for. And then I think it's a practice that applies to every, every sphere of journalism. So yeah. Um, Protests are one of the most essential bits in terms of the democracy that we practice. Uh, we're given the opportunity to elect a leader every four years. Within the four years when they govern, the only means to which uh, they, they can hear your voice as a people when there are concerns or certain things that you don't agree with is um, through the Kebima Min Kebi, like people like to say on radios. But the most important has always been civil protests. 
it's what led to independence it's what led to a lot of changes and the likes and so i mean it's it's very important in shaping the discourse with regards seeing to change and having things done i've seen people protest and their roads have been fixed and so that is good enough reason to tell you even what the recent protests by young people all of a sudden on social media you're having some of these government agencies which are being called out try to provide responses so um, this is from a very journalistic perspective. It carries a lot of weight. On impact, try as much as possible to break down complex subjects because people can be on the streets for a myriad of reasons. And if for nothing at all, Occupy BOG is a bit complex. Someone sits home and hears 60 billion cities losses. Um, that's why the minority is out in the street. But do you understand why they are out on the streets? That's that's what I'm supposed to be explaining to you. And so it's not just shoving the microphones into the faces of people who are on the street so that they can say exactly what it is that they are saying. But can I make you at home understand what it is so that you can grasp the concept and whether or not you agree with it, you can share your views with us as well. And so beyond putting the microphone in the faces of the individuals how well can i break down the issues for you how well can i be able to help you understand and see their perspective and also introduce additional perspective as well because in 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 the end we're seeking to balance it balance it out and so they may on, be on the streets over bank of ghana and the fact that they want him gone but there's been responses to already why they are on the street and so i need to bring all of that perspective balance and all that to better that when you're home you have a full picture as to not just what is happening on the street but the different angles to which everything has been happening Hi, my name is Eric Moenag Beta. Uh, I hope I've answered all your five questions. I'm not sure I can take any more though. <laughs>